Okay, so I know I haven't done a video in a little bit just because things have been really, really hectic for me. Not hectic, but very, very busy. I've been, there's been a lot of things on my mind and a lot of things happening, and I want to share a lot of it. But I want to just share one thing first, and that's probably the most exciting thing I'm, I'm uh, uh, wanting to share. I came across a video yesterday, and this is in relation to inventions and helping us become a little more independent with energy. This one was a video about how to to amplify volts or multiply volts from a small source. So if you have a battery, 12 volt battery, and you put it into a, an alternator from a car, the output is about 90 volts of AC power. And if you put a couple generators together, that's more than enough to power a house. And I was, I was thinking, wow, really? Is that really true? And th this guy was explaining it. And then I saw a whole bunch of other videos that were suggested uh, kind of covering the same thing in different ways. Other people putting this a generator system uh, based off of electric motors that um, generate AC power. And the reason why I'm leaning towards believing that it's real, it's not just something that people want to do and get views off of. I really feel like it's true because uh, the, a lot of power companies, energy companies, are going to want to bury this stuff. And this is kind of based off of Tesla's research. And if you do some research on, on uh, the history of Tesla and what he was trying to do. He was trying to provide power for the world for free. And it seems too good to be true, but understanding that his story and he basically was, um, he was bankrupt at the, around the end of his life. And, you know, he had a rough end of his life. And I really feel like the big, powerful energy companies and stuff, they really kind of just took over, used their manipulation, and just kind of, um, they wanted to have control over this. And and I know this is true, or you could just sense that it's true, because we're just in this position where we're dependent upon so many things, uh, energy and housing and uh, just any topic that you could think of and they they do the planned obsolescence thing where they make uh, things that are cheap and they break and there's another video about a guy generating the same uh, power from a motor and he was powering a, an, an old fluorescent bulb that burnt out and he just put a couple uh, power cords or whatever on that and it lit up again and it didn't need anything else from that and so I was really intrigued with that and I was like really is this a is this really true but I, I really lean towards believing it because I just know that you know they they make things that are that break and that you have to buy it again and I know those fluorescent bulbs they the system that you that they sell it needs a little ballast thing to make it work it's like a little i don't even know what it, it's for but uh, but they have filaments in there that break and then they needed to buy another one so <clears throat> anyways that's just kind of a side story uh but there's other thing other videos that that explain this idea there was one another video that was a little bit different it was a guy that made a, he had like two uh, electric motors. One was a alternator generator type thing, and another one I think it was similar. I have to watch it again. But um, basically, the idea was they took two of these motors, they hooked them up together so they're belt driven, and one of them was the generation of of power and electricity, which that electricity powered the other one which powered the original one. And so, and then it just generated electricity on its own without any hookup to power or any any other generation of, uh, of energy. It was basically two motors 
powering each other and generating power. I thought that was brilliant. J basically, they had to get the 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 system going with, by plugging it in to electricity, and then once it was running and generating power, he unplugged it, and it was just generating itself and then producing power. And <clears throat> I still don't know everything about that, but I'm like, okay, even with my limited knowledge, I could see that that's possible. I'm like, why couldn't we think of that before? And so I, I, I feel like I'm going to be obsessed with this probably for the next year or so. And because I want to, I want to make one of these things. I, I know enough to be able to find these materials and put them together and just follow what these people say uh, of how to build it. And the first guy he said that if you hook up this power to a alternator, it'll have enough power t for a welder. And I'm like, freaking fantastic. So I'm about to uh, start building a house once I find a little piece of land that I've been talking about. Hopefully it'll work out. My goal is by this summer, July 4th, Independence Day, for me and for the nation. I just feel like that's a good goal for my Independence Day. And I want to have a piece of land. And basically my plans are to, to build a shop first. Because I don't really need a foundation. I just need to build an oversized shed. And I could even live in that. I know it's against whatever regulation they've got going. But... I'm just going to do it and just, I'm going to survive that way. So once I build my shop, then I'll be able to start building other things and saving money and I'll be out of the parents' house, which will give me some self-esteem and uh, I'll be free from the mortgage and I'll be free from any rent for the rest of my life as long as I could pay off that piece of land. I have about a little over $7,000 that I've been able to save up from my regular job being a bus driver so uh, my since I'm I've been uh, able to live with my parents for this long I, I've just been using my the checks that I get and putting it into savings so <clears throat> basically I just have a jar of money I keep pumping in money into so this whole story this this uh, plan that I have is becoming within my reach and I'm just gonna be able to do this and with the generation of power, I will be able to generate the power that I need for a welder, for my tools, and I won't even have to hook up to the, the grid yet. Um, and I'll be able to just use the solar panels and the batteries that I have available so that I, I could power my uh, machinery. And that was one of the things that was hanging, uh, hanging me up with uh, going forward with building something. I would have had to use battery powered everything and I wouldn't have a way to really uh, charge it unless I use my battery bank stuff. But that wouldn't even be enough to power everything. I wouldn't be able to use my welder or high voltage type stuff. Hopefully this will work and I'll do more videos about this uh, generator thing based off of motors. And I I get a little overwhelmed with under understanding this stuff. but. There's enough videos where I can kind of grasp what they're saying, where they're going with it. And so I'm I'm encouraged to know that, no, I, I think this is legitimate and I think I could probably pull this off, you know, and, and do a basic system and really do this. I'm excited. And, you know, they, <clears throat> I, I'm, I'm really feeling like they could start taking the power lines down if this is legitimate and people have basically the materials within their household to put this together and they could generate their own power indefinitely. I mean, it's, I really believe that this type of stuff is within our reach and it's true because it just, it just takes knowledge. So I'm very, very excited about not only this concept, but just kind of the new era that we're we're walking into I feel like we're gonna see a lot of changes this year um, a lot of I want to say independence people becoming self-sufficient independent and becoming free from captivity if the economy clash crashes 
I feel like inventions like this are going to just save us and people who are just really brilliant at making this type of stuff are just going to make it for the public and it'll be public knowledge we'll be able to just make it ourselves and we won't have to rely on the grid and big corporations that make crappy products that break and we have to keep buying them like th this life doesn't have to be like this we're in captivity all the time and we may just be so used to it that that we don't think it's possible and i'm this is what my video chat my my videos are about are uh just knowledge and resources and pointing people in the right direction and you know if you're really good at something just uh go ahead and go forward with it and share it with everybody and um and and helping people escape their captivity and and that's basically what just what I want to do I want to get I want I want to not only get out of captivity myself but I want to share just knowledge just get it out there if if Tesla was on to something let's figure that out and just do it without being intimidated uh, by big powerful corporations or anything. Well.